Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hello and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And even if you're not new here, hit the subscribe button because 70% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, please. Anyway, today I thought I'd feel a quick get ready with me. Me and Mike are having a bit of a content day today, so I thought I'd show you how I do my makeup for those types of days. I do actually keep it quite simple, as you'll see, because I don't like to do anything too bold, just because we do tend to shoot a few different outfits on one day, and I don't want it to look obvious, even though I'm telling you, not the point. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've recently started using this primer which I actually got in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar, but it's really good, it's like a little gel. So it's like a little gel, and you just literally scoop it out, and pop it on. I always dab my primer on, I never wipe it. I just feel like it kind of, I'm kind of pressing it into my skin, I guess. And then I'm just gonna go in and brush out my eyebrows and apply this under them to add a bit of shape, but I'm gonna do that off camera because it's, it's fiddly. But now you see them like this. And now they look like this. A little crazy, I know, but obviously I'm going to blend it all out. But anyway, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour wear concealer. I'm going to sneeze. It's gone. So I did actually used to use a different one, which you would have seen in my previous Get Ready With Me videos, but turns out it was burning the underneath of my eyes which was horrific, so I've binned it and now I use this one. But I'm literally just with a damp beauty blender. I'm going like this. Ta-da! And now they just look a little bit more shaped. Although I did do them this morning, so they should be looking good anyway. So I actually don't use these products much anymore. And that's purely because this one, when I had my eye flare up, I wasn't sure if this was causing it. I'm still not too sure if this kind of played a part in making my eyes go all rashy. And then this one, it is, it's just temperament. Oh, it's just temperamental. So sometimes it blends really nicely and sometimes it doesn't, but I am today just gonna put a bit on. I've got this rash on my neck, so I'm gonna try and cover that up too, but I'm gonna do that at the end of um, once I finish my makeup. I'm actually not too sure what it is. I think it might be psoriasis, but I've never had it on my neck, but I have come up in a few little weird rashes like this. So, I mean, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to use this today just because, I mean, I might just bin it. I'm just, I've kind of got PTSD with this. The thought of this making my eyes flare up because, oh my God, they burn. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. It's just not worth it. And I'm going to use a little bit of this on just my, well, I was going to say my main spots, but they're all pretty bad. But anyway. Mm -mm. I'm going to pat them straight in. I did actually put a um, video off my story today basically just asking anyone and everyone on Instagram if they can recommend me any product for how to clear this acne up. It's literally just a result of being on the coil and oh my god, so many people messaged me such helpful things so I am so thankful. I've got a few different products I want to try. So many people recommended the CeraVe, I think it's how you say it, cleanser, which I am literally going to purchase when I finish this video because so many of you swear by it. And then the Pixie Toner, which I thought I had, but I don't think this is it. This is a glow mist, so it's not the toner that everyone was on about, which is a shame, but I might buy the toner anyway. So yeah, fingers crossed, when I come out of lockdown, my skin will be glowing like it used to before I had the coil. So now I'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite foundation that I use all the time and have done since I was small. Cause so I'm just gonna dot that all over my face. I did actually fake tan a few days ago. So mixed, no I didn't, that's a lie. I fake tanned about a week or so ago. Again, a lie, it was almost two weeks ago. So I used this and then mixed with this as well. So this one is True Match 
in shade. I don't know. Can tell you, it does not say. Oh, sand. So tree match, you can't see that. Tree match is sand with Rimmel London's lasting finish ivory. Good colour for if you're about my skin tone and use Money Main Extra Dark. So yeah. But then I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender again. So I'm now going to go back in with this to basically hide the bags. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get in the chin, get in the nose. Do you want to just pop some down here too? This is the setting spray I use, by the way. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it, it's really nice. Love it. And then just. So if you've watched any of my videos before where I've done my makeup, you'll know. If you know, you know. It's the one pound MUA Sunkissed Bronze and it just, it does the job very nicely. And then with a much smaller brush, I just make my nose look more appealing. Who needs a nose job when you've got the one pound MUA bronzer? Honest thing. Oh, she's skinny. If you know about that bronzer, you also know about this. Again, less than two pound. I'll put one under here. I'll put it on under here. down here, down here, all around here, up here, over here, and here. So basically everywhere but here, 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 and my nose. Wonderful. So I'm just now going to add a splash of colour onto my cheeks, actually using this, which I've not really used yet. It was from my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I can't even get it open. But I normally use this one. So this is a MAC one. It looks really orange on the camera, but it is actually quite a pinky colour. Let me, how do I open this? So it looks like this. So I'm just going to use a bit of this colour here. And just dust it on. So it's quite a nice shimmery pink. So I think it just adds a nice bit of colour. You can almost get away with sweeping it up and using it as highlighter as well because it is quite shimmery. Do you know what? I look so much better in my mirror than I do on the camera right now. Trust the process, just trust the process. It'll be fine. 
So now we're pretty much almost done. I just need to do my eyes. So I'm literally just going to brush them slightly. Cute. And then curl them. I normally do like 16 to 20 squeezes. And then the same again on the other side. Ta-da. And do you know what? If my eyelashes look like this permanently, I'd be so chuffed. But they don't. Oh, I'm undecided. I don't know whether to just wear mascara today or do lashes. Because the strip lashes I want to wear, I actually want to try and stick them on without makeup to try and get them to look like eyelash extensions. I saw a TikTok and this girl like basically cut them and then stuck them under her eyelashes. And they looked like lash extensions. So I really want to do that. But then the other pairs, I have these, which I feel are just a bit too dramatic for today. I feel like I've cut those a bit too much. They're literally standing up straight. Why does this eye never look like this eye? Like, even if I move the ring light, this eye here never looks as cool as this eye. I think I'm just going to stick with mascara today, and I'm actually using this one, which also came in the Glossy Box Advent, Advent Calendar. Can't see it. There you go. So it's the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home and I'm actually going to have to buy the full size version of this because it is really good. I actually love it. For someone who doesn't normally wear mascara, it's really good. Like I've literally used this one for years, literally since I was in, well, secondary school because that was the one everyone had in secondary school. Because I'm just not trusting with new products, which is why I actually did quite like the Glossy Box Advent Canada. Because I was almost forced to try new products because it obviously I paid the money for it and then I got something new every day. So if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have discovered this. And best believe I'm going to buy the full size version. I love it. The one thing I love doing when I do my bottom lashes is then getting a clean spoolie or whatever they're called, these things, and just going underneath and like twirling it. It just kind of gets rid of all the clumps of mascara and kind of encourages them to curl around in a nice way. Perfect, so we're almost done. Now we just need highlighter. I'm using my Bretman Rock um, Babe in Paradise palette, which is literally the only palette I use. And today, I'm gonna use Vagation, which is this one here. And then with a much smaller brush, I just go in under the eyebrow. A little bit of a brush break. And then I'm just going to spritz this all over my face. And I will just do my hair and then I'll be back to show you the end result. And that is my hair and makeup finished. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I am thinking of doing a giveaway when we get to 500 subscribers. So we're almost halfway. But I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.